What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So we've got an animal one today, we've got a polar bear. So uh, I've done a bear before, like a regular sort of grizzly or brown bear. It was just a random sort of bear. This is specifically a polar bear, so it's kind of got a longer neck, it seems like, and maybe like a sort of narrower head. That seems to be the main difference. It's like a skinnier sort of version of a, like a grizzly bear or a brown bear. And they look pretty much the same, a lot of them, just different colors. So we're I'm on a landscape orientation page. You could probably you could probably fit it in a in a portrait, a skinnier page if you wanted, if you wanted to do it portrait, but I just YouTube's video is landscape, so it seems to be easier to do it on a landscape page for me to fit the most in for the tutorial for you guys. Anyway, stop talking, draw. Okay, so we're the eyes are like up along here, so like way above halfway, like the 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 bottom of his nose will probably be on the halfway point, just here, okay, and the eyes are just up here. So, so you want middle point just up here near the top of your base. Leave enough of a gap to fit the head and like some of the ears just here, but anyway, so you find your point and you come over to the right hand side. We're going to start with a curved line. So like a lot of these animal eyes, especially the bears and the dogs and stuff, they have like a lemon shaped eye. So basically, you curve it up. And over like that first. And then this is a little like point here. And then this will curve down and around and back up into there. And then we'll have an iris and a pupil. So, well not, sometimes you'll have an iris, but mostly like a big black sort of eye like that. Sometimes it might be brown around the edges or something like that, but not a lot, so. So, we can color this in black and you can leave like a, a shine or a highlight just here. A couple of circles and the rest black, colored in. Like that. And then just this corner, so this should be dark in here. Like coming around and this corner as well, just there. Like so. So then whatever with your eye is you should be able to fit about four across the center and that's where the next eye will start so whatever the width of your eye you go one two three four across about four and it starts there real big distance between his eyes and this is going to curve up and around again down like that and then you bring this down the bottom, curve it around to that point. So you kind of get that lemon shape. And then you could do your pupil just here, like so. You can color this area in dark as well. And maybe here on the side. And you could leave a white highlight in the center. One or two, anyway. Color the rest black. Like so. And then just like around his eyes, you might have like, just a little eyelid line, just like a, a line under here, curving around, like so. Maybe something similar on top, just like you could thicken up maybe this and leave a little eyelid just here. Just an extra line just to show some skin on top of his eyelid. That's it. So now, like I said, so the bottom of his nose is probably in the middle point of my page, but an easier way of sort of measuring things out is the distance between his eyes, it's 
about the same distance to nearly the bottom of his nose, so like the middle point of his nose, so like there. So that distance is the same as this, approximately. Okay, so you've got this triangle going on, just here. So this is like around the middle of his nose, okay? Just here. Don't know if you can see that. Can you see it like here? Well, actually right here we have the line that goes up the center of his nose. So we might as well draw that in. So you just do a vertical line. That'd be easier to draw. Like that. And then either side of that line at the top, you've got the nostrils, so you curve this like so, curve the bottom like that, you do see you don't close this off, you can but we'll leave it because we have to draw skin on the outside of his nose, so this goes down like that, other nostril, look like that, so it kind of looks like two bubbles on the side. So then we will go up the side of his nose. So we'll go curve it around this side, like so, same on this side. We're gonna bring it across the top. Kind of like that. And then there's an extra line just dividing the top from the bottom. So like here, like that, and then we have a piece of skin like on the edge, so it's like sticks off here, like a flap of skin, comes down the side here, same on this side, goes down like so, and this kind of joins up into it there, like that. And then we bring that along the bottom, like so, like so. And then this comes to like a point down here, pointing down. So real big nose, small eyes, big nose. And then of course, this can be um, like dark black inside. And then you can add whatever details you want, like around the nostrils, like just some lines just to show the edge, you know, some hatching on the sides of his nose, just to show that it's kind of raised up a little bit, you know, various little details like that. You don't have to add too much, but it's up to you. So then this leads down to his mouth. So we bring a line right down the middle, like this kind of a darker, heavy line just there. And then we have the top of his mouth, so it's going to curve this way. So it's kind of a downturned sort of mouth like that. Could be there. And then this is going to curve up the sides. It's going to curve up like so. And it could be a kind of a hairy line if you want. Broken line, kind of like that. And this side will go up as well. And you might have like some hair, some texture, but they're real fluffy, so it's not like a lot just coming around like this. Very dots around his nose and things like that. So his bottom lip then, so he's got like just a sort of a hairy sort of ridge area just here. And then there's like a dark shadow in across his bottom lip just here. Like so. And his chin. So he's got a big hairy bear chin. So like a hairy fluffy line. Like so.
And right, so right, so then that's the top of this snout. So the rest of this kind of comes up towards the center of his head, right? So we have like a line coming out from this point at the side of his nose. So it sort of comes up like so, like a light sort of broken line like that. Like this, the same on the other side, kind of curving in. And then there's like a line up the middle, just there. And then you might have some lines coming around the side of his nostrils there as well. And a light line then kind of coming up in here. The center of his head. Up towards the center. And right, so then around his eyes, so we've got like big sort of bumping sort of eyelid lines. So we're gonna curve it up and around like this. Big old bear curving lines down this way. In towards the side of his eye like that. And there might be another one in there. Coming around his eye like that. And one underneath. So like hairy. Like so. And then just the line like coming down for the inside of his eye. So like coming down this way. And there might be some like extra hair lines and stuff in there. But not so 100% necessary, of course. And we do the same thing pretty much on the other side. So big curving line going around the eyes here. So it comes around the back. Down into there. Another one coming up this way. Like so. One underneath, like a bag under his eye. Like so. And then a line just coming down the side of his snout, just there. And like a line just in here, some hair coming out here. And stuff like that. Okay, so now the shape for the head. So. Just up here, we have like a line coming up the center of his head, right? Just there. And conveniently, the distance from his eyes to his nostril is the same distance as from his eyes to like where the top of his head is, okay? So the eyes are halfway between the top of the head and his nostrils. So that's how high up you want to go, okay? Approximately. So this line then curves out both sides. So we go this way and then this way. So a real sort of flat head. Oh, and I forgot actually one more sort of line underneath his face, just here. Coming down for like his cheekbone, just here. Kind of there, like that. Like so. Okay, so big head, right? So it's gonna come all the way. It can be a furry spiking line, as furry as you wanna make it, coming down both sides, trying to get them even. Doesn't have to be perfectly even, even-ish. Coming down, side of his head. 
like so. Big round bear head, right? We'll stop about here and we'll go back up and we'll finish his ears, right? So ear will come out like this. Can have hair sticking up off it every now and then if you want. Down into there. Big round bear ear. Kind of low set, kind of not high up on his head. They're a bit lower down. So like the head kind of bumps up here a little bit. And this, this line doesn't actually join his face, it joins his neck. So it like comes down the side here, to the side of his neck. And then we have like a dark, fluffy section just inside here. Kind of like that. So, same thing over here. So, here comes up. Like so, and then inside the dark portion again. That and again, it joins his neck, not his face. So, and it can be a hairy line like that. Okay, so then this face line comes down and touches like a beard basically, like a sort of a point just down here of fur. So, it's gonna keep coming down like so. And it'll be like a hairy sort of section here and then it'll go back up the other side like that and there might be like some hair lines coming up and around this way like a line at the top so like when you're doing these lines they're kind of they're kind of um folds of his fur or like his blubber you know like Kind of things like that and this neck is going to go real long so it's going to go the whole way down right so it's going to go like out like this down like that so real long skinny sort of neck and it might come out sort of a bit on one side maybe so, and then in here we have like a couple more rolls of like fur. So, so like, so like here, like this. This will come down to like a point in here as well. So like down off my page, down that way, and then this side will do something similar. Another one there, and maybe one more just coming along here. And maybe some of the fur just in the center here. And a little bit going up this way. Like so. And of course, like, you can add as much of that texture and stuff as you want, really, but sometimes simpler is better sometimes more is better so it depends on how you feel really but i will leave it there and i hope it was helpful as usual thanks for watching guys and i will see you in the next video bye